place. Uh, congratulations. What's the key to winning a match like that by as big a margin as that, both in terms of the score but also the dominance of the play? Well, the second goal helped us a lot. and. Uh, that I like because the first minutes we talk in a half time they will be more aggressive they were but we make incredible two build ups with Ruben and 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 Edison and after we drop them and after they will be more scary and after Bernardo and Chuck and Bernardo make a good action and Erling scored the second goal and after yeah that was the key point of the game but except the first five first five ten minutes that we lost Easy balls in positions that uh, for the, don't do proper simple things. But the most difficult thing in football is do the easy things, the simple things. Do we allow them to make a transitions in that period? Like uh, pff, they can punish you. But after the goal and the first half was good in general. But of course, second half at the zero two was brilliant. And really pleased. Last season we lost. This season we won here. And always a special to win for all of us in Old Trafford, of course. Yeah, I don't wear earrings and not tattoos and a normal car and uh, is an incredible player for us. Uh, he loves to play in Old Trafford too. I think I don't remember one performance we didn't play good. Sometimes play he as a false nine in the past. Has this ability to to make a, a lot a lot of long possessions and attack in the right moment. He's so intelligent, so everybody loves him, uh, and he played another exceptional, exceptional performance. So he's one of the best players I've ever seen in my life. I was lucky to to train a lot, a lot of players. The top class one. This is one of the done one of the best for how intelligent, how clever, and how good guy he is. Yeah, Brighton game was so important after defeat in the feet. Uh, you know, when it's not the fact of defeat, it's when the defeat comes in your mind and you start to doubt here and after it's more difficult. And Brighton is a tough, tough opponent to play because Roberto is an incredible person, incredible manager, and I know how difficult it is. Every play, team we play against them is so, so complicated. And uh, it was important after, of course, in I think young boys always help in Switzerland to understand again the way you have to play. In a game like uh, for artificial, you have to be more precise with the pass, so simple things, and we did it perfectly with Rico, Rodri, and, and everyone, Mateo's Mateo. And of course, today he is special for the, the scenario. So, Trafford is all Trafford, and do it here is, we are so proud. Yes. You're always very I, I, yeah, I understand the question because you are a journalist, a good one, but uh, you are not uh, a manager of players. Looks easy, but it's not. It really, really is not. So, a lot of respect for United for what they do, and but we were uh, now our best, especially in the second half. And but uh, the opponents play. You know that when you lose in Wolves, it's because they are really good and the manager explained the, the, the tactics that they did it to beat us and uh, but when we win it's because we have done good things too but football oh, it's, most, it's so difficult especially you know maintaining consistency for many many years this is I said many times for the guys came every week in the press conference that it was the biggest title I think we have is this one is it still now after travel four premier, five Premier Leagues in six years still we are there, you know. I see the, the preparation mentally, the players, the way they play, the solidarity. When that happens, it's the biggest title that we have. Still, we are there. It's so nice to, to watch the team after what we have done being there. Yeah. Pat, Pat, when, when you came in in 2016, could you, could you ever imagine, imagine you create the chasm that now exists yeah. between you and United? Cause you, you look at times like you played a different sport, and that today you've done so many times to them mm. in recent years. I know what we have done. I don't know what our United have done because I'm not here. So, but I didn't expect it honestly when I arrived here with uh, Jose Mourinho, with Ibrahimovic, with a, you know, with a top top players, so Lukaku and pff, the, the squad always have been. I had the feeling that the squad is really, but. 
I think, I said many times, we are in the same direction. The chairman, the CEO, the sport director, the manager and the players. You know, we go there. Wrong or, or right, it doesn't matter, but we go there. And make a mistake, of course, and, 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 and things that we are. And when we lose or we are, the situation is not going well, we are not here to find, you know, blame someone or be the reason why it's just, okay, what do you have to do better? What happened? It's, oh, it's, the opening is, is getting better, we are getting worse, what do you have to do? To find a solution, that is nice, you know, to find the way to do it. We have done it since the day one. The first season we didn't win, I, I didn't feel that my chairman complained, absolutely not. They support me unconditionally. Uh, I remember when we lost the final Champions League in Chelsea, we were devastated, I was. And the chairman said, we're going to win it. Sooner or later, we're going to win it. Uh, what do you have to do next? Come on, let's go, let's next. And, and with that is, everybody feels the club rely on me, the players know I rely on them. And when that's happened, we are not in trouble overexcited when we win and when we lose it's not dramatic it's not we're going to kill ourselves no okay it's a football game what do you have to do to get him better and we have done many times but at the end another opponent beat you and that we congratulate them and we try it again and and that's why i think the club organization is, is so stable two more guys we'll go up to robin and neil please i don't know if you got a chance to see the, the penalty replay again i just wondered what you thought the penalty? The penalty. Uh, I didn't see it. From there, I didn't see the the, the images. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I know that uh, we did told me before. Since 1992, is the first penalty he no travel. So, statistics sometimes is to be broken. You know, it's happened. But I didn't see it honestly. Now, was there any um, extra motivation or extra pleasure for Erling scoring that place, which is so much remembered for what happened to his dad here with that? Well, honestly, I, we didn't speak about that. I think Erling knowing a little bit the motivation to score a goal is in Old Trafford and uh, against the conference team, so he loves to score a goal. Of course, there's a scenario today, you know, for remember, remembering some Sir Bobby Charlton and that's why these type of games I learned in the beginning when as a manager I put a lot of extra motivations. In this game is no speeches, this game is just focusing the game in the football wise in a, in a what do you have to do the, the rest the rest come from it's a derby you know you know from decades 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 always we were behind always we see united up front and we were there since you know since we changed the last decade in the tendency and now we are there and we are very pleased but not for the united it's because we are doing many good things and i know how special it is for our fans it's normal but it's a fur rivalry so when they, they beat us, they are happy. When we beat them, we are happy. Thank you, guys. Thank you.